Adventures of the Game Show about Floor Temple EX. In this episode, we will hopefully take on the Professor. But we have to deal with these science nerds first. Toxic the... Ooh, I mean an Ash. Hey, I forgot you also had a Marpeco. No, we couldn't stall him long enough. Look, the professor, he'll explain everything. We, we're just doing our job. We don't want all you to find out like this. We didn't even get to ask them what they were up to. Let's check the computer. Hopefully it's not another bomb this time. Main central unit. The screen seems to be showing fractions. Wow, it's been a, a lot of buttons. The others mentioned that they would try to shut down the power supply somehow. If we can't do that, then it would be easy to take Dory from them. Initiating mass sequence. These computers are asking for three different password sequences. Looks like we're going to need to find out what these passwords are. How are we going to even find them? Dang. We need, um, three passwords, eh? That's interesting. Kill me again, please. Doors blocked. Nothing. Oh, bunch of W. Whoa, what the heck? Oh. What else can be in these trees? really just to get find one carnivine wow it was a waste Are there any passwords still looking around here don't think there's anything notes for us tests I already knew that Where did we... How can those passwords be? Okay, I think the first password is... Almola. Avion, and then her daughter's name. Liara. You did it. The whole system is being shut down. Let's group the others at the gate. It's time to go downstairs and meet the professor. Those were all found in the professor's notebook in his orphan in the orphanage. Dark and spooky in here. I should try focusing. Ignore me. Why does it feel like the professor's avoiding us? All of us are making very weird. What if the professor's already done something to Dory? Come on, T. Just get the elevator open and see what the professor's hiding. Go. Wait. Uh oh. He's got company. You scientists just don't know when to quit, huh? We have a mission at stake here. We can't quit. T. Faye. Dell. Go down in the elevator. What the hell should we listen to you for? Everything will be explained in due time. If you go down the elevator, it'll, it'll be for nothing. Please, let the professor complete his final serum. We can't stand by while he kills children. And why hasn't he came down to explain it to us then? 
We've all been here for a while already. If there's a chance to save a child, I don't care about the professor's explanation. That's, uh... We have to try to stop you at all costs, I'm sorry. Like hell you will. Guys, we're done stalling. Take the elevator. Garrison, you can take these guys, right? Of course. Well, that's why we're here, right? Right. Trust us, Faye. We can handle this. Hurry up and go comfort the professor. Confront the professor. Stop him from taking lives from any more kids. All right, let's move. It means the kids are going to die. Let's waste any more time. Let's go down and fight the professor. We're here. It's really cold down here. Yeah, it's also really quiet, too. Let's find the professor. Yes. Let's do it. Stop fighting and come. Professor? You're here? That's... No! This! That's Dory! You are too early! I was gonna explain everything! There's just too much to unpack! I don't want you guys to find out like this! Well, we're here now. But first, give us Dory. She's the one we're here for. Then we can talk about all the other... All this afterwards. Hey, I can't do that. I need her. Her life is necessary for my research. You three won't understand, but this is important! Then explain it to us. Stop trying to run away from us. We came here for answers, Professor. Just tell us something. Fine. The reason for... Enough. You're really about to sell us out, huh? Team Blade already? Don't act surprised. We knew you were coming. But don't mind us. We're rolling out the red carpet for our main guest. He's on his way. He sent us ahead to clear the area. You guys? Yes, we're right on time, huh? We can't let you guys take on Team Blade alone. And who are the last two? These guys really are predictable. Oh, V, you're helping us out, right? Otherwise, I don't think V will be happy to hear you betraying us twice. Bigger. Is that Dory? Garrison, Garrison, help me! Why does he have her? Give her back now! I'm sorry, but I can't hand the girl over. And if I have to battle, so be it. Professor, you can't be serious right now. There we go. That's the vigor we know and love. Guys, he already made his decision. I get what you want to talk to him. You want answers, but he's not backing down. Getting Dory away from his number one priority. Let's deal with the battling first. It's just... You're right. We need to get Dory back. Teej, I'm sorry. I don't have the opportunity to explain everything right now. But I have a mission, and I'll see it through to the end. I don't intend on losing this battle. This time, restraint has long passed. Oh, god damn, why do you have a shiny purple pass? Where? Everyone has answers for freaking my blood me! Stop having answers for my things! Stop doing that! You are not killing my blessing. <laughs> I'm gonna run aside with tosses. He's <laughs> out of healing items. Ooh, a Dreladon. Why are you tossing that either? Please, I can poison the Polygon! Nine Tails! Freeze dry! Ooh, that shiny Rotom Ross looks nice. Aurora Veil. Freeze dry! Good job. More Pekko! Aurora Wheel! 
Oh man, I'm a, uh, ooh, oh, I'm a guy. Well, that was easy. What the hell do you know? Turns out these guys are pretty strong, huh? We've got plenty more where that came from. Teej, why won't you all understand? That you're killing innocent children? You think I'm going to stand for that, even if there was a good explanation? Like bringing back your daughter or some bullshit? How are we supposed to understand this? You haven't told us anything. You've only sided with Team Blade and battled against us. Then tell us something, anything. It's not that simple. Daddy, why is it so loud? Should I come outside? What the heck? Did I just hear Daddy? Doesn't matter. We gotta report to V. We'll handle everything once he gets here. Peace out, losers. We aren't afraid of shit. Bring on your leader. Dory, you're okay. All the other kids there, we know. We're here to get you out. It's okay. I'm sorry for being mean. I just want, did not want all this to happen. It's not your fault. Team Blight and that professor caused all this. Do you guys know anything about him having children of his own? She's dead. It's new to us. No, it's not new to me after reading the diary. He has her down here. Yeah, I'm confused as well. Maybe that's who he's making the serum for. Why didn't he tell us? Let's go find out. Dory, stay near me and make sure he doesn't try something. Why didn't you leave with her? We should go right. We should go see what he has to say. Computer's unresponsive. Oh, it's back there. Oh, that's where they must have been storing the kids. Wow, there's so many people here. Are they here to play? No, Leah. These are the people I told you about in the story. The ones that went on a grand adventure. Wow, really? They're real? Do they have Pokemon? Can I see them? Lee, you know it's your bedtime. You can play with them after you wake up. Aw, but they just got here. Can I stay up a little bit? Sorry, Leah. You need your... You need your rest. Your body isn't as strong as the others, you know. Ah. Uh, you all give me Lee a moment to tuck Lee in. Now that Lee's fast asleep, I suppose it's time to explain myself. The past ten years, I've been developing a cure for a virus that plagued my wife, and now my only daughter. My wife has been suffering from its effects later in her life. My daughter's contracted the virus at the age of three. I couldn't stand to watch my daughter disappear into the same virus that took my wife, so I had to begin working. At first, I just on Pokemon. However, I soon came to realize that Pokemon weren't adequate test subjects. Time was ticking, and I needed something, anything, to push my research on the cure forward. And that's when I met a man. A man by the, name, by the nickname V. V showed interest in my extensive research on Pokemon and offered me a deal. I'd give V a bit of payment for, from the orphanage in my research for access to real human test subjects. I took the deal, knowing full well that I wouldn't be able to be, be redeemed. As long as I saved my daughter, I didn't care. And that brings us here. And you forgot to pay them? Don't forget that. So you didn't run the orphanage for more. No, Pommy, I would never allow. My wife, which was one of the passwords, loved children. The orphanage was for her. You sought to protect all children and went every day to find lonely children to bring back to the orphanage. Children like you three. When the virus took her life, I fought to keep the orphanage running, just as she would have wanted. But my daughter can begin to worsen, and I knew something needed to be done. But desperate. Doesn't excuse it, though. Many children have died. Indeed. Not right. We traveled almost the entire region just to end up chasing a person we thought we could trust. At the point you could have told us, but you let us live a this lie. This is disgusting. How could you turn a blind eye? The damage Team Blight is causing. I know I didn't intend on what I was seeking forgiveness. I just want you all to know why. I fully intend on surrendering. I just have one last serum to give my daughter. Hopefully this serum should allow Leah to have not suffered the way her mother did. Afterwards, I'll comply with whatever it is you want me to do. I'll go to prison or... But I have to try this last serum. It's my only choice. Correction, figure. No. You long ran now to choices. Maybe you should have thought of that when you ran off without paying me. B. I didn't have the money at the time. The time for bargaining up 
Nigger, my sponsors expect me to uphold the standard. And when that standard is not kept, in chance, right or wrong, you have amplified time to come up with a payment or settle a meeting. But you didn't either. We no longer need your services. The agreement is off. No V and U5. The interfering ends today. Team Blade is on the path to fixing the region. And those who cannot see that vision are in our way. Fixing the region by sending children to die, a necessary means to an end. Something people like you all won't understand, and it seems you're getting rid of you for good. It's the only way to proceed smoothly, so I'm here to finish what the grunts couldn't. You wouldn't think you'd take on all five of us? Quite easily. But you're not worth the effort. No! Thanks to the lovely professor here, I've acquired one of the guardians of the region, the legendary mythical Pokemon Shaman. And with Team Blight's superior technology, I've managed to siphon its power to use for my own. Inside this room is now millions of poisonous spores that could be put a large that could put down the largest of must sales. Consider it a way of taking your final payment. It's nice working with you. Enjoy your final hours. All of you. No, not this. This stuff is so hard to breathe. Dory, cover your mouth. Don't inhale the spores. Garrison, I can't. It's too... Dory, well, we could just get out. It's strong. I can barely... I can't breathe. Does anyone else have feel lightheaded? Can't stay awake. No, we can't. We can't die here. Everyone, no. This isn't what I wanted. Lee, please don't die here. Please! Venom? What have you done? Huh? What? What? Wake. Rachi? Oh. Peach, are you? Holy crap, we're finally awake. You were out for a while. We almost thought you were a goner. Glad to have you back. When we wake up, this room is clear of the spores. We don't know who or what did it, but I'm glad they managed to, we managed to survive that. I never want to be in that situation ever again. It was a miracle we even survived. Can't say the same for everyone, though. What happened to the music? I, th I think... I think you should see the professor. He's with his daughter right now. She didn't make it. He told us. Connect the police, so we did. We'll wait for them while you talk. Take your time. There's just a lot to tell you. Something like that can wipe an entire city, far beyond terms of everything. We need a chance to something. Can't believe this is what we get for our journey. Teach. Oh, Teach. I made so many mistakes, so many terrible decisions. For all you to have to fight for your life like that. Seeing all you suffering like that, it's all my fault. And now my daughter, Lee, the one I tried so hard to save. My reason for doing all this is gone. But you, Tej, you have the drive, the strength. Team Blight is attempting to change the region for the worse. They wanted my research so they could capture all the mythical Pokemon and use them to create a region that they see fit. B. No. Venom. He plans on destroying the region and rebuild it. He's a powerful trainer who lost sight of the world, the most dangerous type of person. But you, Tej. Tej, you showed me something in, our, in your battle. You were serious. I felt like I would lost the battle the moment I started. Your aura, your expression, I was shaken up by it. If I had battled Faye or Del, I could have tell that emotion would get the best of them. But you, you were unflinching. That's what it takes to stand against Venom. Take these, Tej. Shiny charm. Rustic key. The key is to my secret home on Letabelle Island. I trust you with it. For my daughter Lee, please stop the blight. I like to remain with my daughter Teach, if I may. You may. Did you talk to him? How did it go? Yeah, I guess he wants to see his daughter one last time before getting arrested. Police are here. Skyland, Garrison, and Dory went outside and explained everything to them. Professor really going to jail, huh? Really wish it didn't have to be like this. Yeah, I wish things turned out different. We should head back. Yeah, the officers might need our testimony or something. You're right. Your friends explained the situation to me. We're taking over the entire building now, so we need everyone to clear out. We have some officers outside that'll be able to take you. This is where the professor and her daughter are? Yes, he's standing with her. I'm sorry to hear about the young lady. We'll take it from here. What, what was that? I heard a gunshot. He had a gun. And he didn't. Professor, no. He really didn't. He'd rather take his own life. 
didn't go to prison. That's not atoning for your sins, doctor. That's the coward's way out. And you'll be able to help out soon. You guys are all the scientists all around the city. Then we'll take the boat. Yes, sir. You got the account of what happened in all parties. We're going to take over from here. The orphanage and the town are going to go under lockdown for a while. Not many people can do what you did today. I commend you all for that. I would have said to leave it to the officers, but whatever, not that young lady would still be alive right now. What happened to the professor and his daughter is heartbreaking stuff. Hopefully we can catch the bastards who set the whole thing up. You guys have any questions? It was time to ask. Where are the scientists going? That Stockbridge Island. It's an island of the region where prisoners are kept. It's nearby. We need a boat to get there. We decide to take something team light. Until then, we're going to do what we can. Stop ignoring them. Anyways, I'd like to say before you all did today, I know what you guys saw uh, is traumatizing. Not many people in your shoes would have attempted to infiltrate a dangerous situation like that. I'm going back in. There are others to help out. I'll give you all time. Make sure to clear out. We're going to need the space to investigate. You guys okay? I wouldn't blame you if you weren't. I can't believe you're just... That to himself. Damn it, Team Blight. What do you think the region is? Create a new region? What the hell does it even mean? They're lunatics. That's what she means. They're so out of touch with the reality, they're willing just to kill anyone they feel like. And they're getting away with it. Some stupid reason. Can't let them. Dell's right. Guys, let's not talk about this in front of Dory. Good idea, Garrison. What are you going to do with Dory? Going back to Dory and bringing the city, and I'm going to stay with her for a bit. Probably until her dad comes back. Yeah, wouldn't want anything to happen to her again. Came a long way to save her. But... You better put in 100% to keep her safe. You bet on that. I'll see you guys around. Eyes open for Team Blight. I'll make sure to get strong so that me and my Pokemon can protect ourselves. I look forward to seeing you safe, Dory. Well, I will. Thanks for helping me today. Hey, are you okay? Looks like you're tearing up. He was like a dad to us. Now he's gone. He went to prison. At least we know he was safe. But like this, it's he's just... All of this Team Blight's fault. The professor had no choices left. I know. It's just he didn't have. Leave us. You sad, Del? Yes, I'm sad. But I'm also pissed off. It's so unfair. He didn't deserve to have all this happen to him. And Team Blight, they're the reason why. As long as I keep pretending that everything is going to end up fine, I'll stay compliant. Can't stay weak. I need to become stronger. I don't want to sit by and watch stuff happen. I want to be the one to make things happen. I just want things to change. I do too. My sister always told me that if you want something to change, it takes someone to speak up. She's what pushed me to want to become a vigilante in the first place. In this case, a speaking up is battling them. And we'll be able to make the statement as long as we keep winning. This is just a setback. We'll bounce back st even stronger. Just like it takes. A bit of willpower. You're right, Scarlet. We'll step back and start putting in more work. If we want Team Blight to stop, we need to become stronger. And then, every step along the way. I want to avoid seeing stuff like that ever happen again. This event reminded me how powerless I was. And how much I still have to go to reach Venom. I don't want to become a liability. So I'll do what I can to get stronger. That's the spirit. If we want to take down Team Blight, we can't dwell on the mistakes. Now let's decide our next plan. Venom is trying to get all the mythical Pokemon, right? That's what the professor said. Yeah, apparently they already found Shaman. Yep. We don't know where any of the Pokemon are, so we're lost. The region has a lot of hidden castles and shrines. They're bound to be around somewhere. And we just continue finding shrines and stuff. Do we even know where to begin? And what about the ones we've already been to, though? If we ha didn't search hard enough... Well, this really is easy. Isn't easy. We have to get the type of direction, but in some time, I don't think it'll hurt to go back through and check some of the old casts we passed. In the meantime, we have one person to go ahead and catch Team Blight at the later ones. Then, we'll all meet up in Menegold City or something. I think it's best person to that is Tiege. Yeah, we know you can handle Team Blight alone. I'm not in any rush. I can get a debrief garrison on the whole plan when he decides to join us. Also, give me a little time to cool off my head after the whole situation. Good idea. Guess our next locations are Maligold City and Astrotown. Check out one of those places to go next. I'm gonna fall back to the, to the gym. Jeez, Dale. Can you be any slower? 
Leanne's gym took me way too long to deal with. I rechecked the forest in case there's something nearby. Dal just reminded me. We should go check on Lena, since we haven't seen her in a while. I'll meet up with you later, Teach. Don't don't do anything rash before I get there. Or maybe go ahead. You're strong enough to take care of yourself. I'm going on ahead. Remember to stick around down long enough so it's had to be clear. And what a day. Yeah, it feels like the whole world got flipped up by, upside down. I just feel like I'm bad for the professor and even worse for Lee. I don't think I'll ever forget that face. Team Blight just targets weaker people. People who are desperate for enough to do anything. Imagine how many more people are draining for resources just to feel their stupid ego. As much as I wish this was over, this isn't going to end unless we do something. And if there's anyone who could end this, it's us. You're right. Let's do it for Lee and the professor. Let's put it and see you guys. Guys, be careful and good luck. Wow. Where do we go, anyways? We now go... Oh, we go this way now. Go this way, too? Nope. It looks like our destination is clear. Two gym leaders? Really? Our destination is clear. This town awaits us. Alright, two hours of play. Time with Marty. Who's next? Next we have to help Grace in her garden. After that, we have to prepare for our four o'clock battle. Did you help Grace yesterday? I could have sworn. That was Leanna, sir. Ah, I see. You can head there. Excuse me. You must be watching us quite intently for a while. You need something? You guys the gym leaders? Tej. It's nice to meet you, Tej. My name is Zephron. I'm the mayor of one of the in one of the gym leaders of the town. This lady next to me is my assistant. Nice to meet you. Teach, since you've been traveling, I assume you know Team Blight, right? Yes. Bab, that's good to hear. We've been trying to reach out for any trainer we can find. Team Blight's becoming a region-wide problem. And the more people need to step up. Sadly, a lot of them just seem to ignore us and go on about their, about their day. We need many people, now more than ever. If I can lend the city assistance, greatly appreciated. Sir. Ah, Anderson. Did you finish up helping the students at the university? You were also supposed to stop by the Pokemon Center and help Nurse Joy with new equipment. Done with both. What's next after the battle? After your battle, you have a meeting with Mr. Gavin Harris in the office. Then you have to help Lena find a Froakie. You think you could help Lena? She's not yet lost another Pokemon. On it. I'll be back in time for the gym challenge. Thanks. So you can see we have three half plans. A lot of errands to run. Team Blight is a huge issue. We need people now more than ever to step up and play their part. I know it seems like we're asking a lot for someone who's visiting the city for the first time, but Team Blight is becoming a region-wide problem. That you can count on us when the time comes. For the side, to enjoy your time in the city. Ready to head? Yep, let's get it done. Ooh. They'll heal up here. And in the next episode, we will carry on our journey. See you guys. Bye.